What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mortal Kombat 11, the debut reveal gameplay trailer. And there's a lot of them. I missed the live event. So this is just going to be me catching up, watching all of the trailers that are out now. And I believe there's six of them. I believe there's six. Let me read them off. There's official gameplay trailer reveal, which I'm going to watch first. Then the fatalities one. And then it's, I'm going to check out story pro law Sonya reveal trailer and then the behind the scenes footage I missed the live event so this is just gonna be me catching up at the same time doing a trailer reaction and then reviewing all six at the end of this now I don't want to give it a score because I'm probably gonna be biased because one I love Mortal Kombat and two grading six trailers on our scales I'm gonna give it a five out of five probably regardless unless there's stuff that I don't like and I will leave that part on the review section of the video which is gonna be on the tail end but final further ado let's jump into the first trailer which is i believe the official gameplay reveal yeah official gameplay reveal trailer let's start it now okay let's go let's go scorpions all right raiden okay this is what we oh baraka looking dope okay who's this scarlet all right they bring in scarlet back all right no uh -uh. there we go Woo! Oh, that was, um, blue and, um, kind of, oh my gosh, what we come through the fire on right there? That was lit. Oh, oh, yes. Why this looks like a cutscene? Like, this looks, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, are they, like, throwing fatalities into the mix? Like, Jesus I'll Christ. Sub-Zero, look at the, 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 the skull. So Had the skull. eyeballs sticking out. What the fuck? Yes! Oh. Yet again, Liu Kang. My son, Dad? Chosen there we go. Destiny. Session with like making eyes come out the back of the heads in front of the heads. I've seen that like three times in this trailer. Here we go, Shao Kahn. <laughs> My son, like, pre order me, man. And beta access. Okay. All right. PS4, Xbox One, PC, Switch. Okay. I want to see how the Switch gameplay look because. Do I think this was switch? Most likely it was Xbox One X. The event, I believe, was presented by Xbox Two. Let's jump to the Fatalities trailer. Okay, let's go. Finish him. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Come on, Sub Zero. Are you wild? trailer let's keep it rolling let's keep it rolling which one is next we got um i think the story review the story prologue okay let's check out the story trailer wb games see what they come up with after injustice they're gonna have to come up with some shit injustice was lit 
What are we looking at here? Where is this on the earth? Is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm? <laughs> I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us, starting with you. How, <laughs> oh, Raiden? Not even you can kill an elder god. Oh, he's gonna prove you wrong. He's gonna prove you wrong. <laughs> There are fates worse than death. Woo! There we go. What is he doing? Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, slice his head off, boy. Oh, my God. There's fates worse than death. My God. I'm talking, he's still alive! Look at this! <laughs> this hand is on the bottom! <laughs> I will deliver you to Liu Kang and your Netherrealm minions. You will serve as warning and an emblem of my wrath. What? Oh my god. Sub Zero, stuck in the water? This is not, not your this? destination, Ark. Once again, the Thunder God has upset the balance of history. What? Know the this. Fuck? Who's the this? Ark of the Universe bends to my will. Oh, shit. It is only a matter of time. Oh, that's the. That's the board, bitch. The, the fucking Dollar Tree. Okay. Combat at a matter of time. Mortal Kombat 11. Let's go. 423-2019. Let's go. Shao Kahn. Walk into the sea. That's lit. I'm excited, yo. Yo, it's like mad shit going on at the same time. It's like, got me on the edge of my motherfucking seat. Okay, Mortal Kombat. Let's go into, I think next is Sonya Blade. Yeah, let's go to Sonya Blade and then let's watch the. I think it's like the gear system. Okay. Sonya versus Scarlet. Let's do this. You've been looking for me, Scarlet. Sonya Blade. What? <laughs> Sonya Blade calling okay. in air support. Okay. She's doing a voice. All right. That's it. Sonya Blade was the first like kick-ass girl that I saw come onto the scene, and I've always admired her. And 
admittedly kind of emulated her and you know my my own way and that is now like, I get to try and be her. She's a woman shit. Rep and Sonia kicking ass. Oh my The first God. time I can remember playing Mortal Kombat, my mom was a college professor. Yeah, and I was one gonna of say, show more the game while you're talking. Uh. And I was complete like button masher, but I was Raiden and I beat him as Raiden. And it was like the first time that I beat an adult in like anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I thought it was like the Dude, absolute coolest. that was coolest. a stage? That was like a stage environment happened. That's Voicing a character crazy. has been really different and really interesting and fun because I don't have to think about how I look and only about how I sound. It almost gives me permission to be as ridiculous as humanly possible because no one's looking and no one's judging and all that matters is all what right, it's all right, like. All right, all right, all right. We'll see. It feels so good to say. Say it loud, it feels great. Yeah! <laughs> Oh! What? Jesus Christ! I've been a fan of Mortal Kombat. For and that was in the middle. That wasn't a fatality. I can remember. What the fuck for a was little that? kid, I loved me some gore. <laughs> oh! God! God! On the grenade. What drew me to Mortal Kombat? Jesus honestly, Christ. it was the first game that had like real intrigue of just more than, okay, I'm gonna hit this guy, he's gonna hit me and who wins. Oh, it wasn't just shit. like, who's the better fighter? It was, why is this person mad at that person and this and that? It just drew me in to think about more than just fighting, but the Ooh, world that they live in. Okay, and let's go. yeah, it's been a great experience being Sonya Blade. Okay, back to Shao Kahn. Every time we see Shao Kahn, that's permission to go to the next one. I'm gonna go to the... I believe it's the gears. Yes, boys. Girls? Oh, that's a, the character. Oh, what's up? That was seen in the other Come game. thunder, what? come lightning. Do you fear nothing, Gyrus? Garrison. Nothing within your power. <laughs> I thought this was a gear system. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Looks like he's replacing kind of jack for this game. Oh, oh yes. I'm gonna say it. I think with every Mortal Kombat game that we start, we want to introduce something new, something different. I think that's why this one took longer. There's been some advances that have been made, like facial animations and just the quality of the art overall. We're getting into environments and stuff that we weren't just able to do in the past at this level of fidelity. No. One thing we want to do is freshen up the cadence of gameplay and stuff like that. And I think that's something that I think we really nailed with the new Crush and Blow feature. Kind of keeping these explosive, violent moments a little more random and, and a little more shocking to the player as we watch them. NetherRealm is becoming known for you know, attention to detail. Our characters are just incredibly realistic. Yes. We have on all of our characters, we have scanned faces, we have 
fully detailed tiling say, material yes. system <laughs> on all of our materials for all of our characters. That holds up both in gameplay and both in our cinematic moments. Katana, Empress of the Dead. Oh, MK11 okay. picks up where MK11 left. Raiden Princess had become Dark Race. It turns out he has disrupted the balance of good and evil in the universe that was desired by Kronika, a new character to the Mortal Kombat okay. universe, who is the keeper of time and the architect of the destiny. All of the right, makes sense. First boss female character in any Mortal Kombat game. Okay, it really took you 11 that. tries. Now that things have shifted cool. irrevocably <laughs> to the side of good, and so she has only one solution left, and that is to rewind time back to the beginning and restart it. One of the interesting aspects of MK11's story with the time folding is that you get to see so many interesting interactions oh, between young and old versions of themselves. The thought of becoming dope. you sickens me. That is dope. We really want to focus on customization this time around. There's this collection component of like you can collect all these different augments, you get to apply those things to gear, and you can use that to customize a ton of different gameplay stuff. They go in Now we're giving time. players the ability to create their own variations. So it's almost almost infinite number of variations. Almost, As a player, you can get into the Towers of Time and you can start doing a lot of things. They're going to turn over, some are going to be hourly, some are going to be six hours, eight hours a day, some of them a week because they're going to take you a long time to get through. There's going to be a lot of different things to do. That is crazy. We really try to improve just the, the multiplayer experience. Players want to be matched up with somebody of comparable skill level. Everyone's always yeah. making progress, right? If you're playing competitively online, win or lose, you're making progress towards something that's going to make you better, more effective, right? You know, I think the biggest thing we always keep as a theme when we're starting with any of the games is the word fun. The first time you get the uh, yeah. and, like enhanced versions of specials feels awesome to me. And I've been working this for like 15, 18 years in Mortal Kombat. That's still awesome to me when that happens. This game has a ton of content. <laughs> That's good. An absolute ton of content. God, boys. Okay. But for a second, he looked different. I was about to say, who the fuck? Blown away again. Kind of unfair watching six trailers back to back to back to back and then trying to form an opinion on it as far as a trailer reaction review. I think them doing this type of style for a, a live event and kind of explaining the game in bits and pieces. And again, I didn't go back and watch the, the live event, which I probably do. And if it's something that I want to add, I probably do in a separate video. But I just wanted to get my thoughts out there for Mortal Kombat 11 and these trailers. Oh my God. I Excited. I'm on the edge right now. I want to see if they switch gameplay out right now to see because that'd be dope. Also, I want to see if there's people playing because I know a lot of people got flown out to the event and I want to just see regular, you know, our regular newbies jumping in and playing and even if it's fighting computer, fighting somebody else. I think that is what draws me into it. Like when Smash was rolling out, I really couldn't care less about the stuff they were showing, even though there was a lot of excitement with that. I was more intrigued about watching competitors play, watching, you know, normal people play, just so I can know how I would feel and see if I could attach myself to, you know, to somebody's play style and if they have a play style that is similar to mine's to see the enjoyment level there. So I'm kind of excited for that, that portion of it. This game looks amazing. Again, if I had to grade every single trailer, I'd probably grade them all five outside of the Sonya Blade one was kind of, and that's because of my connection to this girl. Oh, I forgot her name. It's kind of, you know what I'm saying? So besides that, it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope to see. I'm pretty excited. The storyline looks crazy. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on everything Mortal Kombat. I'm going to be covering this more so on the channel because I am going to pre-order for Shotgun. And I'm thinking, do I pre-order on PS4? I probably pre-ordered it on the PS so I can get it digitally there. And then oh, I get the physical on the Switch, which would make sense to me because I, I, don't, I don't have a huge memory card on my Switch and I don't plan on buying one and I would prefer to just have cards I can just throw in and take it out throw in and take it out so that's what I'm looking to do for Mortal Kombat 11 let me know your plans on what's it some you're going to be grabbing it for like always guys this is an open conversation I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on Mortal Kombat 11 all of these trailers are you hyped are you getting it are you not 
Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.